I'll tell you why gray is the best word. It's got two spellings that no one can fully agree on, which is just about the most gray thing one could do. But beyond that, it reminds us of the eternal spectrum. Humans got to where they are today by taking shortcuts. We had to. So much information is thrown at us within one moment that we'd immediately freeze up and or explode if we didn't make any assumptions. Thus, we block information and focus, and now look at us, we're so smart and prosperous. It's been beyond beneficial, I understand this, but like all things, as in all things gray, there's a balance, and too many shortcuts creates thoughtless patterns and prejudices. In other words, we tend to fall into patterns of seeing the world in black and white. Because it's easier. That thing is that thing always. Which is crazy, because no thing is that thing always, not even that thing. Would that it was the same. Would that it was the same. Would that it was the same. Would that it would that it was the same. Watch my mouth. Would that it was the same. Would that it was the same. Keep your head still. Would that it was the same. Would that it was the same. Would that it was the same. I'm trying to say that, Mr. Lawrence. I love gray because it's a challenge. It's ambiguous. It's not having all the information and never having all of it. And the difference here is the understanding that the door is open to more things, all of the time. There's a humility to it, a desire to learn. It's kind of embarrassing. Go ahead. I had a dream about this place. Oh boy. You see what I mean? I feel like in a way it's possible to condense every single problem that is happening in the world to the forgetting of gray. I just did a couple examples in my head and I'm standing by it. Let's take the first one that inevitably pops up. World hunger. We have enough resources, right? People don't dispute this, there's just an inequality. And there's an inequality because of hoarding for oneself or nation. A me versus them mentality. Binary, black and white. Remembering gray is remembering unity, connection, and constant change. The more we stop dealing in absolutes, beginnings and endings, exist in middles, as one. Thank you, Gray.